think by now it's pretty clear that everybody and their mothers wants Amber Heard to be gone from Aquaman 2. The woman has been found guilty in a court of law of malicious defamation against Journey Depp. And we all know very well that this woman is going to lose a lot of roles, but the one that we've still never seen any real confirmation of is the biggest one she has, Aquaman 2, with petitions out there begging for her to be replaced and trends going on every single day on Twitter. It's pretty much time for something to happen. And even though there are still only rumors, Something very strange has happened on Google involving Amelia Clark. Hello, and welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will, see what I did there. And if you'd like to support the channel and help me to grow, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Let's get straight in here to movieweb.com. Not a site I go to very often, but here is an interesting rumor. Now, of course, I have to preface this by saying it is still, sadly, just a rumor, but a rumor that is backed by some very public-facing changes. Here's the title. Amelia Clark trends amid new rumors she's replacing Amber Heard in Aquaman 2. Amelia Clark has suddenly appeared among the listed cast members for Aquaman 2 on Google, leading to rumors that she'll be the new Mera. Now remember, of course, last week we had a, a thing come out where someone had been able to get in touch with the people doing the reshoots and asked who was playing Mera and there was no confirmation whatsoever. This is a massive red flag for Amber Heard because if it was Amber Heard, they would say, duh, it's Amber Heard, obviously. But the fact that they're saying nothing is almost like totally confirming that it ain't Amber Heard. And well, it, fair enough. Amber Heard is a vile, rotten bitch. Good riddance. Could it be that Amelia Clarke has joined the DCEU by replacing Amber Heard as Mera in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom? For a few years now, thanks in large part to the highly public feud between, we know what happened, and JD, there has been a popular fan campaign for the role of Mera to be recast in the sequel. There has also been a viral petition demanding Heard's removal from the film. More than 4.6 million names have signed the petition which you can find at change.org, and those numbers are so high that we've got to imagine that Warner Brothers execs have at least considered the possibility of recasting the role via reshoots. Yeah, let's look at what's going on at Warner at the moment. David Zaslav is coming in and he is cleaning house. He clearly doesn't want to be attached to any more political controversy, and absolutely right. He's the kind of guy, it seems, who will come in and go, is this making money? No, right, get rid of it, don't care. Are we going to lose money on this? Could be, get rid of it. But it, we've already paid for it. Don't care. Get rid of it. Sick of having our brand attached to this drama and this utter bullshit. Get it gone. No one likes this. We need to start making good stuff again. And very well done if that is the case. That's my opinion of what's going on based entirely on only what I have seen and read. I don't know Zaslav, of course. I have no insiders telling me anything. I just strongly suspect this is a no-nonsense guy who wants to make money and damn about time. Anyway. Casting Amelia Clark instead of Amber Heard would actually, of course, be a no-brainer. I mean, they don't exactly look identical, but similar enough, I'd say. Similar kind of eyes and things like that. She's certainly pretty. She can play the role. And don't forget, the one thing I haven't really heard a lot of when I've been talking about this and when I've been reading other people's stuff about this, she already has demonstrable chemistry with Jason Momoa. Of course, in Game of Thrones Series 1, she's Daenerys and he's Khal Drogo. And despite the fact that they aren't even speaking English to each other, they managed to have phenomenal chemistry. In the beginning, of course, it's mostly just them having sex, but they managed to uh, tell a compelling story, of course, based on Martin's excellent writing, but they pulled it together and made you believe that a woman like Daenerys Targaryen could actually fall in love for a brutal horse lord like Khal Drogo, who begins the show by basically just, you know, mm -mm -mm in her with forced consent. So, you know, for her to then be able to play a convincing love angle, and then, of course, the grief of him, what happens, um, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones series one by now, you know, I think they had really good chemistry. Can't have been easy to speak a made-up language to each other and act and as though you are falling in love and are in love, but they did. So, good. 
Good choice, if this is real. There hasn't been any indication at this time of Heard getting the boot, but heading into the weekend, new rumors have emerged that the recasting may have actually happened. This stem seems to stem from many fans noticing when looking up the cast on Google for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, Clark's name suddenly appears alongside Jason Momoa and the other confirmed stars of the film. This being the internet, this could just be a simple error, but there are some fans who believe that this is a hint that an official recasting announcement is coming. Okay, let's look at this objectively, shall we? If that is the correct term, I suppose. First of all, haha, ha, Amber Heard is finished, Amber Heard is a monster, Johnny Depp keeps winning, Johnny Depp. Right. She's still there, okay? She's still sitting there on the left side of Jason Momoa, and now on the right we have Amelia Clark, who was previously not connected to this project whatsoever. Now, let's think about this. This is the internet, as they correctly said. Companies have PR teams. They have social media managers. It's incredibly important these days to have dedicated social media people on your projects. That is the be all end all of marketing these days. That's just a fact. So let's look at it this way. If they wanted this rumor to go away, they could have it disappeared or completely and totally rebuked within a few hours. It wouldn't even be very difficult. They could very simply just come out and say, no, this is not the case. Someone's hacked us. Amelia Clark is not connected to this project. They could easily do it. Amelia Clark could do it. She's on social media. She could very simply just come out and say, I'm not sure where these rumors are coming from. I've got nothing to do with Aquaman 2. And if she did that, that would put it to bed. So, why hasn't anybody come out and uh, dispelled this rumor? And that is obvious. Because companies like this, who are sitting in very awkward situations, where one of their casts of their new big film is a weird little deviant psycho, you need to make sure that you play this very carefully. To that end, the smartest thing you can do is leak a little rumor that she's been recast and see how the people react. And based on this, it does seem to be overwhelmingly positive. Even this absolutely lovely fan art that's been done, posted by RMCB underscore 86. I can actually see this. It works well. Bye bye Amber Heard. Lol. Hashtag Aquaman 2. Yeah, I think this would be a smart choice. It looks just about right. And by the way, lovely work. Very nice. Of course, posted here by Kishorna Davis 1, or KD. Amelia Clark is beautiful. She fits the role better for Aquaman, has better chemistry with Jason Momoa. Thank goodness somebody else is saying it. And doesn't sh... <laughs> t on beds. That's a plus. Yes, it certainly is. Anyway, I for one would absolutely welcome this. I think Amber Heard deserves every horrible thing that happens to her. She is a manipulative shrew, and uh, it's good to see justice coming for the wicked. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments section down below. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel to help me to grow. Thank you very much. I'll be back a bit later on with another video for you. But until then, see you next time.